independent um, publication as separate from the university. And I think that was always a really good thing because it gave you a lot of leeway to make the mistakes that you needed to make and learn from them before you actually went out and had a job um, that was really more uh, lucrative to you. Um, and uh, as far as training rounds, as long as the training that you're receiving here and the things that you're doing reflect what the media looks like in the outside world, I think that it, it will survive because there's always going to be a need for news and honest news and correct news and objective news. The one thing is it's okay to try and do hard things. In fact, we ought to go and try and do hard things. And what we're going forward, it's going to be hard. But that's what we're about is doing the hard things because it's going to make a difference. And I want the best students to want to come to the University of Illinois to learn and to practice their craft of journalism here in all those new and exciting ways. Journalism, you serve an audience. You know, the, the campus communities, particularly someplace as big as the University of Illinois, there's going to be common interests that people want to know about something like the Daily Illini, WPGU. You need something to tell folks what's going on on campus, issues that arise, things that are important, things that go wrong, things that go right. The great thing about, about student media is that you're, you're sort of, you're not, you're not in that commercial space yet, uh, so there's not that pressure to conform, so just spread your wings. We are going to have to take advantage of the fact that we are a nonprofit, so we are a tax uh, deductible donation for donors, and we have to build a structured approach that balances advertising sales revenue along with a structured strategy of advancement and fundraising. I think the future of student media really depends on what you all do, especially what you do over the next one, two, three, or four years. It kind of just depends on like students, students are usually mm -hmm. pretty innovative. If they see how other students consume media, they're going to be the ones leading that. Readers from a young age need to be taught to look for legitimate media. And um, something like a campus newspaper, radio station, news organization uh, should be with the proper training, should be that kind of organization that they can know is presenting a full picture instead of a slanted picture. Mm -hmm.